When starting out a new YouTube channel, a lot of questions arise quickly. The biggest conundrum is to find out what kinds of videos to post on your own YouTube channel. This is something that we have discussed in brief before, but strap yourselves in because we're going to do a deep dive into what kinds of content you can make. This is the eternal dilemma of every creator, not just on YouTube, but all over the world and all through recorded history. People have a perception that uh, you cannot be successful and make money off of something that you like and need to sell out in order to start making serious amounts of money. It is not an uncommon thing to see comments on their popular artists where People deride famous artists and uh, keep saying things like, oh, I liked him better before he sold out, or oh, he got too big for his shoes, or whatever. Also, people tend to say that the artist has betrayed what they loved initially. There is also another thing called the starving artist syndrome. In addition to creating content that is not very good, some people think that their content is in fact too good for everyone or that people just don't understand. However, there is a cure for this condition, but it requires you to take a look inside and, you know, do a little bit of self-sacrifice. There is another thing called starving artist syndrome. Negative thinking, in addition to a lack of soft business skills, leads to the creator feeling like uh, his content is just better than everyone else's, but people misunderstand it. This sort of condition is treatable, but whining and pessimism won't really lead to a solution. While we're on the topic of determining our type of content, it is a good idea to get acquainted with some common expressions that might help you out. The first important expression is CPM or cost per mill. Now what it is, is the price that advertisers are willing to pay per 1000 views on your video. Now, I assume that you know that advertisers are in fact the ones that pay you money in order to get uh, your ads shown on your videos. But what you might be unfamiliar with is how CPM can vary. CPM can vary throughout the year depending on the part of the year. And uh, because of this, you can expect your CPM to rise uh, during the holiday seasons, depending on the country your views are coming from, advertisers can control, i.e. target, where they want their ads to be shown. Varying on this, uh, some countries naturally have a higher CPM than other countries. Some of the biggest CPM when talking about countries are countries like Canada, the US, New Zealand, the UK, Austria, Germany, Switzerland, so basically the Western world. Another important thing to take into account is where and how uh, your advertisers' ads will be shown. Now, you do have some, let's call it creative freedom with this, but uh, mostly the, uh, this is auto-generated by YouTube. When talking about the types of ads being shown, you have pre-roll ads, mid-roll ads, you have sidebar ads, and uh, you also have text ads at the bottom of your video. Also, if you're one of the more popular channels, there might be a lot of competition for advertisers to show their advertisements on your video exactly, so your CPM might be higher. This, of course, is a huge plus for you. Another thing to consider when talking about CPM is what niche you are covering exactly. Some of the highest paid uh, ads with regard to their niche are things like real estate, finance, cars, technology, makeup and lifestyle. And uh, these can bring in some serious money. However, there is a downside. 
unfortunately, CPM is not the end of the story. And uh, YouTube as a company and as a platform needs to take uh, their cut. At the moment, this uh, cut equals to 45% of the profits made from ads on your videos. And what you are left with is called RPM or rate per mil. Seeing as how this video was made at the start of 2021, please keep in mind that uh, the rate that YouTube takes is subject to change and it may go higher or lower depending on the profitability. The first thing that uh, you need to do is put yourself in the mindset of always learning new things and always trying to improve yourself. Even the biggest YouTubers, and in fact, especially the biggest YouTubers, uh, are always in the process of improving themselves and the way they do things. Now, next up, you have to find out what, what you're best at and what you can talk about for hours on end. If you can do that, you can show people everything that you want to say and you can make them interested. Then you need to ask yourself a very simple question. Is this something that can help people? That isn't to say that there is a bunch of off-color material and content you can find on YouTube, but you know, you won't attract a million subscribers or even a thousand subscribers if you watch frogs in your garden. Of course, this doesn't mean that you cannot make watching frogs in your garden an entertaining experience for your viewers, but uh, if you can entertain them with that type of content, it is a talent in and of itself, and it is something that is quite unique among people. As we have mentioned before, you should try finding a niche that is your passion, something that uh, you know your way around and something that uh, you can think of dozens of ideas on the spot for. This is important because once you start making 10, 50, 100 videos, you might think to, to yourself that you might be running out of ideas, but uh, if you are talking about something that you're really passionate about, this is less likely to happen. In the case that you really don't have one definite passion that you're willing to discuss for hours on end, you can always ask a family member, a brother, a sister, your mom even, or even a partner or a friend, and talk to them about them opening a YouTube channel and you just curating the content. This could be a very, very financially successful endeavor, and even if it isn't, it might be a good bonding experience. Whatever you decide, you might find that uh, it takes a while to get your content going, even a couple of months to get your initial analytics uh, straightened out. But once you have these initial analytics, and once your audience tells you what really works and what doesn't, you can start making some real progress and start plowing the way ahead. This will also help you make evergreen content, i.e. content that is always popular and trending regardless of the current situation in the world. If you gain a tendency to make such type of content, People will keep returning to your videos, and uh, not only that, but there are people that will keep re-watching your older videos time and time again, making your content always popular and always being recommended to new people. In conclusion, this might keep you relevant for years, even if you completely stop making content and people will know how to appreciate that. Today we discussed uh, what kind of content uh, you should make and how it connects to how much money you can make from the type of content. We have discussed a few different ideas and keep in mind this is not the end of the story, so make sure to subscribe and hit the like button in order to show this type of content to other people on the platform and uh, make sure to leave a comment if you would like a deeper dive into this topic.
Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching today's Tube Secrets video. If you liked watching the video, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon down below. If you have any questions for us, make sure to write them in the comment sections below. And if you'd like to get a free review of your channel, go to our website and take the free channel review.